피청구인 대통령 박근혜를 파면한다. President Park Geun-hye, who has been mired in a massive power abuse scandal, has been removed from office. Historic week, historic day. Call it a watershed moment for South Korea and its democracy. It's the first time the Sewolho ferry has been seen above the surface of the sea since it sunk in the waters around Chindo Island almost three years ago. It really did feel like a historic day. Standing amongst the crowds in Gwangwoman in the early evening, there was definitely a sense of relief. But as I stood there, surrounded by people celebrating, it just made me think more about the Sable families and what they have been through over the last three years. Social movements represent the seeds of what's new in society. To me, the patriarchal culture of Korea was first noticeably challenged in a major way during the 2008 protests against Lee Myung-bak's administration. South Korean protesters have clashed with riot police at a rally against the resumption of U.S. beef imports. The who were the ones who led that US protest? States. Teenage girls. They were the first to go into the streets. This, in the world's most Confucian society, one of the world's most patriarchally controlled societies, where political power is in the hands, basically, of men. There's a generation now in their 60s, 70s who, in South Korea, who come out to vote. The majority of people are manipulated by the media. She has done a lot of, you know, good works to protect the country. So that's why the, the silent majority is uh, backing her up. The eight justices at Korea's Constitutional Court ruled unanimously this morning to uphold the impeachment of President Park. The central allegation is that the country's biggest companies paid money to the president's best friend in return for favors. The focal point of the struggle will be in the future the corporate power of the super rich in Korea. And we know them as Chaebol, these huge conglomerates uh, that dominate much of Korea. Chilpanelpato 참 많은 아이들과 함께 학교를 다녔는데 이후에는 너무 조금만 남았어요. <목소리>